then is when the real happiness arrives so because you try to create and create and try to achieve the happiness but the real happiness is when you stop the creation so you are trying to achieve happiness through asada and you are running around looking for asada from the six senses that is what you have been doing so why they put this in a dead a, a near a dead person or in a uh, a place where there is uh, someone dead is because they are this this came from um, uh, a long time ago because what they were trying to say is this is look at the person look at what happened to this person this is what the dead person did so learn from this guy or this person he was running around all his life trying to fulfill the six senses now what is he taking from this he's taking nothing from it he's just lost right so that is what so now look at him and learn from him and stop this process of abhisankara stop this process of running around and achieve the happiness is what is uh, been explained so this is very important if you can focus on this and if you can uh, uh, recite this karma sthana and do the the meditation you can get to dhyana very easily very quickly because this has a really deep meaning this is what buddhism is all about what what we are all doing is running around anicchavata sankara uppadavaya dammino uppajitta nirujjanti once you do the nirujjanti is tesam upa samo sukho sama sukha you get to the sukha that way right <coughs> moving on anguttara nikay 4 nibbana sutra the the name of the sutra itself is nibbana sutra 255th page they talk about sammatta niyama when one understands dhamma when one comprehends dhamma or becomes a sutta panna that person comes to sammatta niyama they say what is this sammatta niyama so now you can check if that's happened if you believe that you are sota panna you can check it yourself samma att samma att niyamaya that is how you break it down samma sang is the avidya trishna o sang is the collection samma is getting rid of the this getting rid of the sang is samma atta is you know anatta atta is important so now one gets to the understanding this is what is important what is important samma is what is important not sang all this time you were doing the sang with avidya trishna collecting raga dvesha moha now you think getting rid of this raga dvesha moha avidya trishna or kiles or raga dvesha moha it's the same thing now getting rid of this is the right thing to do it is what is the important thing to do now you turn around all this time you went you were going behind raga dvesha moha now you turn around and thinking no stopping this is the way to do it when one gets to that you don't just get to that when you listen to dhamma when you understand dhamma when you comprehend dhamma when you get that installed is when you get to that thought you think yeah this is no point in going behind this i am not saying just because you got that idea or just because you got the thought you're going to change everything and you're going to stop the 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 process of abhisankara you're going to stop going after asada no it doesn't happen that way it ha- it might happen to a certain level right you understood this you think this is what needs to be done but then it's only the drushti it's only the view that changed you still have the sanya and chitta the perception is still there you think oh you have a feeling oh it still gives a little bit of pleasure i'll still go behind asad but then you know it's going to end up with nothing right so this is uh, what samyatta niyama is uh 
There is another sutra called Nibbana Sukha Sutra. Nibbana Sukha. That itself explains what it is saying. Nibbana Sukha. It is a pleasure. Right? Nirvana is pleasurable. And it is with, with happiness. So this you need to know. You need to focus on that as well. Not just the Anicca Dukkha Anatta. That makes it easier for you to walk the path. 